Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. How are you on this Saturday morning? It is a Saturday morning. I am standing here in front of my car, my car behind me, in my garage, um, waiting for the mechanic to come and do what it is that he needs to do with the car. He told me that he would be here this morning at 6.30. Well, that didn't happen. Um, it is after 10 o'clock and uh, he has not gotten here yet. So I text him at eight o'clock and I was like, Ken, what's going on? And he's like, oh, I'm on my way. So yeah, so I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He said he was on his way. I was at nine something this morning. So he said he's on his way. So I came on out here to the garage. <clears throat> I am going to sit here and wait on him so that I'll already be out here. Sorry about my hand being in the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Put you all up here on this thing. There we go. So I'm not going to start the car up because <clears throat> I'm not going to start the car up because, um, you know, the car needs to be cool. So I'm not going to start it up. So, yeah. So I'm sitting out here waiting on him. My mama's supposed to be coming over here today because, um, she, um, <laughs> They're having like some kind of block club on her block and she don't want to be over there. So she coming over here. So it is warm outside. It's hot. I made sure my house was locked up while I was out here. Um, so this is what it is. So he said he's going to come on. I was just looking at the car. First of all, the car is extremely dirty extremely i need to take the car for a car wash oh oh so badly um it's dirty but i knew he wasn't gonna be here at no 6 30. he said i'll be there between 6 30 and 7. i knew that was a lie i knew that was a lie because he was supposed to come do it yesterday right he's come do it yesterday afternoon yesterday evening i call him and i say well what time are you coming because uh, once again I'm the type of person I, I have to have a time. You can't tell me later on this evening. No, I need specific. You're going to be there at 7 o'clock. You're going to be here at 8 o'clock. You're going to be here at 9 o'clock. What time are you coming? You know, that's how I am. I don't know if y'all operate that way, but that's who I am. So he says, um, well, I got to be at the church at 6. Now, this process... It ain't a process where, you know, <laughs> it's not a process where you can just take something apart. You got to take this whole bumper down, okay? You got to take this whole thing down. So, you can't be talking about, um, you, you can do this in, in 10 minutes. You can't. It takes about at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes, um to do this you know so so when he told me that you know he wouldn't be able to be here until um he wouldn't be able to he had to be at the church at six o'clock i'm like i don't get home to four and by the time you get to me how are you gonna make it to the church at six o'clock he was like i you know i'm over this ministry at the church where i do something with with the youth and it's nobody else to do it and he went on and on and on he's like but I'll be there though. I don't know how I gotta figure. I don't know how I'm gonna figure it out with the church. First of all, you are the one who said that you would be here on Friday when the part came in. I didn't tell you what day to come. You said this. So I called him back and I said, Ken, I said, look, can you come tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and, and fix the car? I said, because if you got something to do, I don't need you to be rushing because we don't need no more mistakes. We already had one mistake. 
you had had one mistake, you know what I'm saying, with getting the radiator out. So we don't need no more, we don't need no more mistakes. So I want you to come and I want you to be able to put this in here and I want you to, be able to put it in here in, the, in here correctly without you having to be rushed and this, that, and the third. So he says, um, I can come tomorrow morning. Yeah, that'd be better. I said, okay, what time can you come? I said, how early can you come? I said, because I can get up. I can be there between 6.30 and 7 because the earlier I come, the better it'll be. So I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. I got myself together. I showered. I ain't put on no makeup. I showered. Got my clothes on. I said, well, I'll just lay in the bed until he comes. So I was starting to drift back off to, off to sleep about 6.30. So it's 6.30. It's 7 o'clock. This is in this morning. So I said, well, I might as well just get up and do some stuff around the house. So I got up, went in and cleaned the, bath, the two bathrooms upstairs, mopped the kitchen floor, uh, it sounds like this might be him. You know, I guess there's somebody else coming out. Mop the kitchen floor. Did all of that. And I still hadn't heard from him. So now it's like... like 8 30 yes it was 8 30 so at 8 30 i called him he didn't answer so i sent him a text he said good morning i said i've been up since six waiting on you you know uh <clears throat> so he texted back and he said uh good morning he was like I'm sorry, I'm just not getting up. I'm getting my son together and I'll be on my way. I said, okay. So he just texted back about 30 minutes ago saying, I'm on my way. I said, okay. I cannot stand dealing with people who can't be on time. I knew, and I knew it. I said, his ass ain't coming at no 6.30 in the morning. He ain't coming at no 6.30. I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> so here we are. Here we are. I, you know, for the last three Saturdays in a row, all three of my Saturdays have been tied up with um, all three of my Saturdays have been tied up with this car. You know, I went to Midas the first Saturday when the car was overheating. The second Saturday, which was last Saturday, I was at Toyota all day long, and now it is, you know. And then the next Saturday, I got to take it up to Midas because I got to get the engine flush. So I'll be up again early that day. <sighs> I am just, I'm tired. I am tired. So, my 
my whole Saturday is again, cause like I said, it's after 10 o'clock. He ain't gonna get here till about 11. My whole Saturday getting ready to be, t my whole Saturday is getting ready to be um, taken up with him doing this most of the day. I just feel like I ain't had a weekend yet, you know? I wanted him to come at 6.30 this morning because I wanted him to be done by 9 o'clock and be out of here. Ooh. But he coming, so... So I'm just so annoyed. So annoyed. But anywho, y'all. Um, I thank you all for your continued love and support and your prayers. Because when I tell you I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired of dealing with this. I'll just be glad when it's over. I'm almost at the finish line. I'm just almost at the finish line. I just need him to come on and get this radiator out and put this car back together. So, I, I might come back on here. If I do, you'll see a part two to this video, or I may not. But I'm definitely doing a Shein haul tomorrow. I have to do it tomorrow. Um, so, I thank you all for your love and your prayers. I thank you all for supporting this channel. Um, people are not subscribing to the channel. So, if you're here for the very first time and you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a nice comment in the comment section, as Miss Brazil says. Um, but I appreciate you all so much because I just really, really have been having a time. I really have. And I'm just, I'm just so frustrated. You know, I'm so frustrated. I hate waiting on people. I hate to, people telling me they're going to be somewhere at a certain time and they don't. I hate for people to hold me up. I just feel like if you say you're going to be somewhere, be where you say you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? Because he could have did, he could have came at 6 o'clock or 6 30. Like I said, he would have been on his way leaving here and I would have had the rest of my day to do what I need to do. <sighs> just unbelievable. So, um,. I'm just frustrated. I'm real frustrated. I hate waiting on people. I can't stand waiting on people. I hate people that are late. I just hate, I, and I hate people to tell me they're going to they gonna be somewhere, they're going to do something, and it's hours later. You know, I hate for people to do that. And then you got the nurse saying, you want me to pay you for doing this, but you can't even be on time to do the job. But anywho, um, I will be touching base with you all, and I'll let you all know how everything turned out. Um, so, I, I, I feel like I have wore you all out with the car thing. I feel like I have wore you all out. And if you worn out, you know how worn out I am. Oh, child. Anyway, have a great day. God bless you. I love you guys. Thank you all for supporting. CC's Fashion is my passion. Tune in tomorrow for uh, a Shein lingerie haul. And I hope that you all will like it. Okay? All right. Take care. God bless. Bye. Hello, you all. This is part two. Car is finally. Oh, Jesus. Finally fixed.
fight no me. Amen, somebody. Amen. Oh, my mama's behind me. She came over because they're doing some kind of block club thing over at her house. And she's like, I don't want to be there to let next door do it. I don't want to be there. So I'm going to come over to your house. I said, come on. She came over and she's been sitting all the time that he been out there working on the car. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I praise God. I thank God that it's fixed. And I asked him about this engine flush or whatever they said I had to have. He was like, he's like, you had your oil changed. He was like, you don't need to do that. But it is fixed. He did everything that needed to be done. So I thank God, I praise God, I give him honor, glory, and praise. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just praying and, 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 and just looking over, you know, thanking God that this car is gonna be all right, that it is blessed. <laughs> I'm just glad that it's fixed. I have been, y'all know, been going through this for weeks, for the last three weeks or so, I've been going through. And you know, it is an older car, so it don't, doesn't drive like, you know, but <clears throat> it's moving, it's moving, and that's the most important thing, and I thank God for that. I'm just thankful and grateful. Thankful and grateful. Because he didn't have to, he could have, you know, could have been a lot worse. So I thank God. I thank y'all for praying. Those of you all that pray, thank you. Those of you all that didn't, but you sent a kind word or a thought, a, word, uh, a warm thought my way, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. Thank you. It is uh, very warm out here today. Very humid. Very humid. There she is. Come on, Miss Daisy. She behind me. She driving slow. So, I just wanted to come on and give you all an update, a recap. To let you know that it is fixed and I just am grateful and he just was like let's just call it even he was like because I had to give your money back for the ignition coils he was like so let's just call it even but I am going to send him some money probably like a hundred dollars a hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it ain't gonna be a lot and I'm gonna send him that just because, you know, uh, you know, he really tried his best. And he, you know, he, 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 I don't know. He was showing me how that holes pop. So I really don't think that that was his fault. I think that it might have just been weak because the car is old, you know, but he bought it. He had to pay a little bit more, but he bought it. And then we come to find out that the radiator, it was the same, he gave, they gave him the same radiator, but they gave him a, a little bit, a one that was a little bit more expensive, but that radiator that he had the other night, he actually could have put that in my car. 
could have put it in my car because the original radiator that I have is a Japanese uh, radiator. It's from Japan. I would have to go to Japan to get this radiator. Because they're, they're, they're the original you can't find. So he put that one that he could have used. But he took that one back and he got another one that was a little bit better in quality. And <clears throat> put a, you know, a new one in. So, yeah, I'm just glad that my car is up and running and I can drive it. I'm just glad about that. Um, that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. Just thankful for that. this video today I'm gonna go um, my mama needs to go she says she want to go to Dollar Tree I'm gonna take her to Dollar Tree and I'm just going to chill honestly I'm just going to chill Bye.